Avengers Assemble. Today we are looking at the Diamond Select Avengers Mini Mates, and this is Iron Man and Hulk. Mini Mates have been around for a while now, and they cover a lot of different properties, everything from video games to movies to TV and comics and everything in between. And normally I stay away from them. I picked up the Universal Monsters ones, and I was gonna just keep it to those. But in my pre-Avengers hype, I ended up buying a few things I normally wouldn't touch. So I picked up some Avengers Mini Mates. Did I make a good purchase? Let's find out. First up here we have Hulk. Now this is a cool Mini Mate right off the bat because it's not a standard shape, not a standard size. Mini Mates rely very heavily on a formulaic body. It's a torso, a T-bar for the lower legs, legs, boots, arms, hands, and a head. They're pretty simplistic and they add things on to give it the character feel. And Hulk has a lot of extra parts on him. In terms of the side here, we can see he has a big bulky chest piece added on to give him additional muscle. It has a good actually muscly sculpt to it, not just the paint job, which is also very good. They got the Hulk green pretty darn right. He's got upper arm padding to give him beefier upper arms and shoulders. Instead of a normal hand, he has this almost glove-like appendage. The hand would normally plug in here, but instead the forearm is covered by this whole glove. It actually gives him fingers. He has four fingers here and big, huge Hulk hands. He has his shredded up Hulk pants down here. Now these are seemingly based off the end of the movie. They're the more purpley grayish pants as opposed to the khakis he has earlier on in the film. And with the legs similar to the arms, these thigh pieces are beefed up, and the lower leg, instead of being a little shoe at the end, he has this big foot boot with little individual toes in it, which is really cool. Really neat to see them doing some things like this. I know they've done other Hulks like this, and they've probably done a billion other figures like this, but it's really neat to see them pushing the standard body like this for Hulk. He's very little of what you'd expect to see in a mini mate body. Almost all of it's covered up. The head is a little cylinder here. We can see the face. I'm not a huge fan of this face. It's really just kind of blah to me. And he's a little annoyed, but he's not all that Hulk raging mad. He's got some good hair and little green ears attached to the hair. But the plus side is, it doesn't matter that I don't like this head, because I can pluck this head right off, take the hair off of that head, and then we could peg in his alternate head and just peg his hair and ears right on top of that. And this alternate head I like a lot. He's baring his teeth, he just looks really, really pissed off. That's the Hulk I want. That's the Hulk that's always angry. But I really like this Hulk. For articulation, he has a ball-jointed neck, he has a ball-jointed upper arm, hinged elbow, you can rotate at the hand, swivel at the waist, ball-jointed legs, you can hinge them at the knee, and no articulation in the lower leg, so it ends at the knee. But still a pretty good little range of motion there. Now on to Iron Man. First up, Iron Man comes with a little base here. It looks like a takeoff pose. There's one little peg there you can stick in his foot. I kind of wish it was two so it would hold him a little better, but it looks like he's flying off, off to go shoot some aliens. You can peg him right in there. And it's kind of a dust cloud at the bottom here, I guess. I wish it would have been a different color, like a grayish, blacky smoke color. And then had the power beams coming out there. That would have been kind of nice, but it's still a decent little display. As for the Mini Mate itself, the first thing I gotta say is the paint on it is phenomenal. For being so tiny, it's really well done. The red is nice and vibrant. The gold and silver are also vibrant. He's got his blue arc reactor there in his chest. His eyes are painted blue. Just really, really nice looking, really good color. He also uses some extra bits to beef up his Mini Mate body, which is fantastic. He has these bigger gloves on there to look more like his Iron Man hands. He has a large chest piece here. He uses an extra piece around his waist to kind of give him some extra beef there. His upper legs are sculpted, not just painted on detail. There actually are sculpted Iron Man pieces there. 
He's got his big, chunky Iron Man boots. And of course, his helmet. The helmet is removable. You could take it and slide it right off, and you have a Tony Stark head. I mean, it doesn't look a hell of a lot like Robert Downey Jr., but how much can you make it look like Robert Downey Jr. with no nose and on a cylinder? Still not bad at all. Now, it comes with hair, so you could peg on some hair and ears there. And eh, I don't know. doesn't look too bad. I don't think I'd know just from looking at it that it was supposed to be Robert Downey Jr., but it's a serviceable Tony Stark head for your mini-mate. Not too shabby at all. Now, the thing I really like about it is that you could also, instead of putting the hair on there, you get a separate helmet. And you can peg that right on there, and you have Tony Stark with the helmet opened. Really nice, another well-detailed helmet, and my favorite part is if you look at the eyes on here, they are dull. Once again, looking at the normal helmet, you can see the eyes are blue. So it would be that the eyes are dull until it snaps down over his face and they light up blue with all the computerized awesomeness that is the Iron Man suit. I thought that was a really clever little touch on Diamond's part and really works out nicely. I really like him with the open helmet. I kind of pose him like this whenever I can just because it's, it's a neat look. It's really cool to be able to have this. and. It's one thing that Hasbro has never really given us in three and three quarter inch, or I think they might have given us a six inch, but yeah, I mean, a neat little feature on such a tiny little toy. Now, if you want even more detail, you could pop that head off there, and you could take off this extra bit of armor, and under his added armor, he actually has his arc reactor and his chest and some extra gizmos and gadgets going on. So you can actually take off some of the heavy armor parts and actually get a look at the inner workings to a degree, which is really cool. Some more detail on the back, kind of looks like some flaps or some vent ports or something like that. Really, really neat. I think I neglected earlier to show off the back of the armor part up here, but it is a pretty nice little armor part. Good detail all over this figure. His articulation is the same as the Hulk. He has a ball-jointed neck, ball-jointed shoulders, so they are hindered by his armor. Hinge at the elbow, rotate at the wrist. Rotate at the waist, ball jointed legs, and a bend at the knee. I must say, I am thoroughly impressed with these two little figures. They are really, really fantastic. So much so that it's kind of got me wanting more mini mates. I really didn't think this was something I wanted to collect, and I'm actually having a hard time not picking them up now because these guys are so much fun. The detail on them is really good, the paint is good, at least color-wise. The details drawn on are good. The sculpted features are really nice. They deviate away from that standard Minimate body quite a bit, which is very impressive. I was not anticipating them to do it so much. The amount of accessories are incredible. And the price point, these things are around seven, eight bucks. Depending on what you catch them at, they can go a little more expensive in a comic store or a specialty store or something like that. But they come with a lot and they're two little figures and together they're taller than a three and three quarter inch action figure which to me should kind of hint that Hasbro should be able to give us a little more for what they're charging us Hasbro charges almost ten dollars a figure and now we're losing out on articulation we're losing out on accessories and granted these things all use a standardized body so there's not quite as much tooling behind each one but still we got a lot of stuff and a lot of cool things and I just wish this would continue on to other lines because so far out of everything I've reviewed for Avengers, this has been my favorite thing. And that's sad. Avengers was an awesome movie and it should have had an awesome toy line backing it up. And the three and three quarter inch figures, which were the most plentiful things to come across, were so disappointing. And you go to something like this and there's so much potential there and so much awesome. Just pure, unadulterated awesome. So, I highly recommend these two. This is a great little two-pack. And two great characters from the movie. I think my two favorite characters from the movie, or at least two favorite Avengers from the movie. I don't know. That's hard to say. I, I kind of like everything. Maybe I should just uh, not place my bets on one side or the other. But yeah, really digging this two-pack. Really excited to have it. Really glad I picked it up. Been another Outside the Box review. Stay tuned as we continue to look at all of the Avengers madness.